The tractor auger is one of our most used implements on our ranch because we're building fences and there's not an easier way to dig a fence hole or put in a mailbox than using a tractor auger versus a hand auger. <clears throat> These augers operate just off of your PTO drive on your tractor. They hook up to the three point uh, just like any other implement. We use a stabilizer bar to help keep it in place the best we can while we're drilling. Um, there's not a whole lot to a tractor auger. You just work it up and down in the hole. Um, try not to just drive it straight in or you can get it stuck and it's a real pain in the butt to get out. But just work it up and down the hole and uh, it's what it's made for, it's drilling holes. I'm going to show you real quick how we take the tractor auger apart. Uh, installing it is uh, just the reverse of what I'm doing to uninstall it. I need to hook up my brush hog, so I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. You've got two bolts, similar to this one, top and bottom, and uh, I've got a 19 millimeter wrench out that seems to work, so uh, just find a wrench that fits. And what I normally do is sometimes I have two wrenches depending on how tight these are and I'll slide a uh, socket wrench into here and just hold one of these on the back to loosen it. Um, I've already got both of these bolts loosened so once you get them loose the next step is getting the bolt out. Let's see if I can find a better way to do this. I don't want to lose any of my pieces, so I'm going to go ahead and put both bolts on. I've got this lower bolt to pull out. Seems to be a lot of weight on it. So I'm just going to move this so I can pull that. There we go. Bolt pops right on out. So with both of our bolts out, we can go ahead and pull out our auger bit. Now, I like to store this with the bolts in it. That way I don't lose anything. So we have successfully taken off the auger bit. Now for this next part, I'm actually gonna lower this down to the ground remove my PTO. So my next step is removing the PTO. This one has simple squeeze slide. Go ahead and sit that on the ground. And then I'm going to lower this whole thing down to take the weight off of it. And now I've got the weight which is the heaviest part of this thing is the gearbox sitting on the ground. Go ahead and pull out my top pin. We can go ahead and pull these. See, I'm kind of taking this down into three separate pieces. This top end here is a little rusty and it's being a little difficult for me. So I'm going to try and take the weight off and then just kind of pop it through, loosen it up. Now that should come on out. See, it's just a little rusty. Cleaning that up would make a big difference. I'm going to leave, need my pin for the top link on my next implement. I'm going to go ahead and just use this to hold my stabilizer bar in while I move the tractor around. That's pretty much it. Now that I have this in three pieces, it's going to make it easier to move. This piece here is going to be the heaviest because, again, it has a gearbox. Now, if I'm reinstalling it, I would start here, I would take this piece, go ahead and connect it, um, then I would take the stabilizer bar, connect that, connect it here, 
and then hooked up my PTO shaft and moving that order, which is basically the reverse order of how I took this apart. 